Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. And here you will find videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And today we're going through a day in the life, getting ready for Shabbat. Okay guys, so this has been an interesting, different sort of a week for me. My husband ended up leaving town this week for work, so he's been gone for the last few days and he'll be coming home today. So things are a little bit quieter around here, maybe even a little bit calmer. There's one less person in the house, so there's just less going on. But it's been fun and we've made the best of it here at home, me and the kids enjoying some movie nights and having fun and hanging out and all that jazz. So. Today, we're getting ready for Shabbat. Now, because my husband has been out of town and he's not even coming home until later on today, we're planning a different sort of Shabbat. So, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of prep to do. Oh, I need to pull out bread, oh my gosh. Okay, I have my bread now. That will fall before tonight. So I try to do that earlier in the day, sometimes I forget and it's like five o'clock and I'm pulling out this completely frozen loaf of bread, trying to thaw it out before Shabbat starts. But anyways, we're good now. I did not forget. Sorry about the background noise. The dog's chewing a bone. The kids are playing with markers in the next room. They're working on coloring some pictures. Here, I'll show you. So anyways, <laughs> we're doing a super simple dinner tonight. We're going out to lunch tomorrow. 
I'll probably have some friends over tomorrow afternoon just for fun and to give us something to do. The weather's finally cooling off right now. We've had a heat wave also going on this week. So all the things, all the things. Okay. However, I have had lots of time. We're in total summer mode with school now. So we're not really doing a whole lot of school stuff. So a lot of what we're doing for school is the kids coming to me and saying, hey, I wanna work on this. There's just like a little bit of stuff that I'm doing with my older son, just some language art stuff that we didn't get done during the school year that I really wanted to touch on. Just kind of some like mechanics of literature stuff that I wanted to touch on with him. So we're done with that for the week already. So I don't know that we're gonna do a whole lot of school stuff today, but Anyways, <laughs> the kids have asked me to make them smoothies for breakfast. So I'm going to go work on that right now. And then we will just continue on with our day. Now I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm not super hungry. Now you may have noticed I woke up this morning and grabbed a soda, a highly caffeinated soda out of the fridge because I've just not been sleeping very well this week. I'm not really very hungry right now. But yeah, I had to have a little bit of caffeine this morning just straight up with the sugar because not sleeping so well. Again, with my husband being out of town, of course I'm not gonna sleep as well, and then life in general that wakes me up during the night. So, <sighs> all right, now let's really get on with the day. We're gonna make these smoothies, and I'll walk you through it and tell you what I'm doing so you can see what our current favorite smoothie recipe is. Okay, so this smoothie is basically like a green protein smoothie and it's such a great way to get the kids some fruits and veggies. So starting off with, I'm just putting one banana into the blender and then I'm grabbing our protein powder. This is a vanilla protein powder that I got at um, Sam's Club. So I'm just gonna put in one scoop of that. Next, I grab some black chia seeds and I'm just putting in one tablespoon of those. And next comes the fresh spinach. So I am just gonna cram as much spinach as I can into this smoothie. You really can't taste the spinach at all. It has such a mild flavor in the first place. And with the protein powder and stuff, you really can't taste it. So next up, just adding some frozen strawberries. And that'll make it nice and icy and cool. And now I'm grabbing half a cup of almond milk and half a cup of soy milk so the soy milk makes it a little bit thicker but i'm trying to get away from soy milk which is why i'm mixing it with the almond milk i'm not sure that soy is the best so just adding that into the smoothie and then we can blend and we will be good to go the kids will be getting lots of protein and veggies and fruits and they absolutely love the flavor it's kind of a win for everybody and this is the same smoothie that i like to make for myself as well So I started off by just making two smoothies for the two older kids, but then my toddler decided he wanted one also. He's been warming up to this whole green smoothie idea. But anyways, after giving my older son some insulin for his type 1 diabetes, uh, all the kids enjoyed their delicious green smoothies. Okay, it is 11.30 in the morning already. I don't even know where this morning has gone. I feel like I've been on the phone all morning, actually. I was talking to a friend of mine. Uh, and I was uh, texting people with our nature group and I was talking to my husband a little bit while he was driving and I was finalizing plans for this weekend and just, I don't know, I'm usually not on the phone that much, but that was like a bunch of stuff on the phone. I also went ahead and gave my younger two baths and washed their hair and combed my daughter's hair and all that stuff. So they're really all ready for tonight and that's fantastic. That's always like a major thing on Friday is getting all the kids bathed. My older son will take a shower whenever he wants to later on today. Anyways, like I said, so it's like 11.30 right now, so it's time to make lunch, and I didn't really know what to make for lunch today. So I looked in the freezer, and I found stuff to make veggie burgers. So we're gonna do that. The kids super love veggie burgers. It's easy peasy for me to make, and that's what's happening now.
After we finished our lunch, I kind of did a quick whirlwind cleanup around the house. We have a mother's helper who is coming over this afternoon to just play with the kids while I get a few things done. So I wanted to go ahead and get as much done around the house as I could because I was also hoping to have a little time to work on my miniature stuff and just kind of take a break. So quick work there in the kitchen and putting a few clothes away and then unwrapping these boxes. I had ordered these candles from Amazon a while back and even though like I'm not ready to use it yet, uh, I always order them when they pop up on sale. So I was just storing those for later use. This is by the way the Yankee Candle Company's Midsummer's Night which is my favorite Yankee Candle scent. So after that I continued on in the kitchen a little bit emptying the dishwasher and then reloading the dishwasher uh, that way I just felt productive enough that I would have a little time to sit to myself After I grabbed the laundry from the dryer, which had been sitting there all day, I put that back in the room and then the mother's helper showed up. So I was good to work on a few other things. Okay, now that the kids are off and entertained, I'm here in my living room and I wanna try to do a little work in here. This is kind of like my project for the day. So, you know, we recently remodeled our home and we're still, it's still definitely a little bit of a work in progress. There's more of my side of things that need to be done. So today I wanna hang a curtain rod and put some books away on some bookshelves. Okay, let's do this. So this is the last curtain rod that I need to hang here in the house, unless I end up hanging something in the kitchen, though we have blinds there. I don't have curtains for this yet, but I wanted to go ahead and just hang the rod so it doesn't become a toy later because it's just been sitting in the corner of my living room since I pulled it in from the garage last week. But anyways, I got that hung up and the room is starting to look a little bit more put together already. Next up, I grabbed this bookshelf that I ordered off of Amazon. I already have one exactly like it. It's a folding bookshelf shelf which means no assembly and easy storage so once I pulled that out of the packaging and got that up against the wall I just started unloading some of these boxes of books I was able to get through quite a bit and then kind of organize what was left in the boxes a little bit more just trying to consolidate that as much as possible my husband is going to be building bookshelves here that will match the other bookshelves that we have in our dining room right now but he is really busy with work. Uh, thank God, we're very grateful for that. But in the meantime, that means our home projects like my new bookshelves are put on hold. Okay, so that is progress. I was able to unload three or four more boxes of books and while there's still more to go, the kids do have access to a lot more of their books and that's what matters. Okay, so yay, progress is happening now. Uh, my husband came home, so that was great to see him. I'm glad he's here safe. And now the kids are off on a walk and I can come in here to my craft room and have a little fun. Okay, so yay, miniature stuff. This is so much fun. I know I go through all these phases of what's the most fun right now. And right now this is the most fun. Okay, so I finished up my little kitchen project that I was working on and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that if not you should pop on over there and follow me jar underscore of underscore fireflies uh, in the meantime I will show you guys that here in a few minutes because I just realized I haven't shown you guys that yet but anyways what I'm working on now is not from a kit this is from my brain well not entirely from my brain because I saw a picture of this online and I thought it was so cool so I'm just kind of making my own little version my own little spin of a miniature version of a trunk that somebody would take to Hogwarts now the one I saw was for Harry Potter I'm a Ravenclaw so I want to make one that's more Ravenclaw specific though I did make a teeny tiny Marauders map to put in there because hey I mean I don't know she might be borrowing it right <laughs> my, my random student so specifically what I'm working on right now is a tiny box to put a tiny potion set in because that is on the school supply list I made the little potion bottles yesterday out of some polymer clay and printed off the labels just that I found online and pasted those on this morning that you guys saw in the video. So yeah, now I'm just trying to make the box and once I've got that done, I'll cut up some little paper to put inside and it'll be ready to go. Okay, my husband just came in, dropped off dinner. He picked it up. 
So yeah, basically all the sushi. So that's exciting and dinner is done. <laughs> okay, so right now it's going on 4.30. So I still have plenty of time. I'm gonna get these flowers and water that he also brought home and get back to finishing my little box. I absolutely love it when my husband brings home hydrangeas because they are the easiest thing in the world to arrange in a vase. You literally just have to put them in the vase and you really can't mess it up. I'm adding them to a vase from a few flowers left over from I think like two weeks ago at this point. I don't think they're from last week. I could be totally wrong on that. But anyhow, once that was done, I went back into my little study and started cutting up some paper that I had dyed with some instant coffee the other day. Once I had that cut into a bunch of tiny strips I crumpled them up and put them into the small box before adding in my little potion ingredient set this really turned out perfect I am so happy with it I do think that I will go back though and age the box a little bit and then find some kind of a string to tie around it I need just like some very thin kite string here are a few other things that I've made for this project so far. A few rolls of parchment, a Hogwarts train ticket, a chocolate frog box, a couple of school books, a Marauder's Map that opens up into more Marauder's Map awesomeness, a Daily Prophet, and then a couple of posters. Okay, so as promised, here is my tiny kitchen. Let me show you a couple of pictures that I took of it the other day because that's better than just seeing it here on the shelf. And there you have it. Okay, now I need to get to doing those last minute things here before Shabbat starts because I feel like it's it's coming closer. Okay, so I've gotten all showered and stuff and I've run the vacuum around the house and kind of stuff like that. The kids just finished playing a game. And now the boys are having their pre-Shabbat treat. And my daughter has gone with my husband to services. So it's not quite Shabbat yet. I still need to set the table, so I'm gonna do that right now. And while I do that, I will talk to you about eating challah with a non-traditional Shabbat meal. Okay, so like I said earlier, tonight we're going to be having sushi for dinner just to keep things superbly simple. We picked up sushi to go and that is dinner tonight. So will we still eat bread with that meal? Yes, absolutely. We will still eat bread with that meal. Does bread go with sushi? Not really. Will we do it anyways? Absolutely. The challah at Shabbat is a very important part of the Shabbat meal, and we will do kiddush, have our wine, do the hamotzi of our challah, eat the challah, and then we will move on to the sushi part of our meal. Now, because we know that the main part of our meal today is sushi and it doesn't really go with anything else, and we didn't want to put a lot of effort into this meal, we won't be having a whole bunch of salads with our meal there at the beginning. We're just really gonna eat a quick cup, piece or two of bread and then dive into our sushi. So that is the answer to that question. I was just sort of assuming that that may come up <laughs> or someone just may be thinking about it. I don't know. But anyhow, it's not something that we do very often. You all know we typically have our meal of bread and salads and fish every Friday night. The Moroccan fish that my husband makes, not just any old random fish. So yeah, this is definitely a change of pace. Again, because my husband was out of town earlier this week. So anyway, that's our little chat while I set the table. And here is the end of our beautiful table all set and ready to go. Okay, folks, and there you have it. Another day in the life Shabbat prep video. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in normal weekday day in the life or if you really prefer the Shabbat prep day in the life. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I would love to see you here again. All right, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and a great rest of your week and I will see you in my next upload.